child care and also elder care is the biggest uh, challenge that women face uh, when it comes to very specifically um, advancement in their careers. There is also a wage penalty. So while, uh, yeah, when uh, when uh, women um, have, uh, have uh, small children, they tend to actually earn less than the women that do not have children under the age of six, while actually for, for fathers, it seems to be a le uh, motherhood leadership penalty because the share of managers is higher among those workers that do not have uh, children for women. So you clearly see that you know, like the, the parenthood gap is bigger than uh, than the gap uh, for parents uh, for workers that uh, are not uh, parents of small children. One of the biggest problems we have is women's ability to move from the entry level jobs into assistant manager and manager category is mostly hindered because of the time they need to spend on care work. The ability to participate in focus training is a lot of women struggle to take that time off on a weekend or outside of work hours to be able to focus on their development. The Vietnam General Confederation of Labor, over the past few years, we have adopted a lot of uh, action plan and uh, pro program to uh, empower women and to give women more opportunity to raise their voice and to participate in uh, different programs, for example, uh, you know, balancing between uh, employment and host work responsibility or program to promote the role of men in sharing housework with women. The issue of uh, inclusive maternity, paternity and parental leave is extremely important. Then, of course, the issue of providing infrastructure, social protection and public care services is very important. More equal sharing of care services within households, which, which requires some shift in mindsets. Um, yeah, and I think it's, it's really important uh, yeah, to get things in a good direction. MAS as an organization just introduced paternity leave, although it's not a legal requirement. Uh, we've taken one small step in that mindset change and also getting men to understand. So for next year, one of the biggest things we want to do is drive more men in the organization to take that paternity leave uh, to be able to also change the mindset. Childcare is another huge piece that we see is helpful when it comes to um, keeping women in the organization, supporting men and women both, formal crash facilities, um, then flexible work arrangements, uh, which we've rolled out, but we're at a very early stage of the journey in our, especially in the manufacturing industry.